Go ahead, Akim. Yeah. There, for example, uh, I charge Paul Hemrod, Janel Smith, who would have had issues with fitness in the past, and also Kimo Paul coming back from injury. Uh, could you could you share your assessment about their level of strength, how, how much they've improved with those from those issues they had in the past? Um, the, the fitness wise, I think it's a it's a work in progress for them. I think they still have to work on that when they when they go back. This was not about fitness as such. This was about the the, the, the skills that we needed to, to try and work on. Um, so when it comes to their fitness, I think they still have work to do on that when they when they get back to Guyana. Fair to say, given the IPL is on going, a, a large nucleus of these players you had at this camp are going to form a West East team for that ODI tour to Netherlands? Well, the IPL finishes um, in time for that tour. So I think yeah. when we sit down to select, they all come into consideration as long as they've made the, the required um, numbers for, for selection. Thank you, Akim. We'll move on to the next set of questions from Gavin Richards, who will be followed by Terry Larage and then Gath Watney. Gavin? Good afternoon, Coach. Um, yeah. I'd just like to know, what are some of the, the exact areas that you're working on with, with the batsmen um, and some of the players, especially as it relates to the, the whiteboard aspect of the game? Well, I think we, we've always had our issues with how we, how we score against spin bowling so I think that's been a, a highlight of, of, of the camp uh, the different ways that we are putting together or as, as a batsman the different ways you want to score against spin and try and work on those um, and for the for the bowlers and the quick bowlers who are here the, the ability to improve on the on the Yorker bowling mainly so I think that those are the areas that it, it encompasses during this camp. Okay, Coach Anand, are, are you satisfied if all things have progressed so far? Um, any areas of, of concern? Yeah, I think I think the, the, the days we've had, I think today's were, today would have been the sixth day of practice itself and it's been brilliant. Okay, thank you, Coach. No problem. Thank you, Gavin. Terry? Terry, I'm not sure if you're speaking to us, but you're still mute. Terry, I still see you speaking, but your mic microphone is muted. Okay, you can hear me now. Yes, you can hear you now. <laughs> good afternoon, David, and good afternoon, Philip. Good um, afternoon. I don't really have a question. I just wanted to say. I just wanted to say to you, Philip, it must be very pleasing, right? That you've gone through all these stages. We're improving step by step because we're learning the game on the job and all that business. 1928, we got test license. It's almost 2028, right? No, nobody has done more. This administration, between administration and player, they've never had a better communication. And that must mean a lot to you, Philip, in regards to the fact, as Desi has said, they play white ball, they play red ball, we want them to play everything. Yeah, I think I, I think in, in in all you you look at it and it it's it's pleasing to know that we're we're moving in the right direction as as you say. So I'm 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 happy with what I'm seeing. I'm happy with the way we've played lately, especially in the last series. But there's a lot of work still to be done. Uh, so we keep working on it. 
Too true. Thank you very much, man. Thank you, too. All right. Gath Watley will be followed up by Akeem Green. Good afternoon, Coach. Afternoon. Um, questions. One is, would you say there is there a difference in the way that the white ball setup and the red ball setup, the, the, the players are progressing? Would you say that there are difference in the way the progression is going in those two formats? The, the progression will always be different. Um, from a point of view of the amount of cricket that's played, I think because there's a lot of learning being done up here, as in the international level, the white ball players have more playing time. I'll, the example I'd give you is that long ago we used to we used to have playing time in the counties and in the leagues. So our red ball team improved a lot quicker. Now there's a lot more of those white ball leagues. So the ability to do things in white ball cricket makes them improve a lot quicker than the amount of red ball. For two years, we didn't have any red ball cricket except international. So in that way, definitely the white ball will improve quicker. Okay, having said that, you've just come out of a, a, a test series with, with England, which you won. Mm -hmm. um, how happy were you with that overall and, and the, how uh, do you assess how much progress in real terms you think the, the Red Bull cricketers made during this series? I think that they've made a huge progress. I think for us to, to be able to understand how to bat on last days to save test matches um, and, and, and also to be able to understand how we needed to bat in the situation to, to bat for two days something which we haven't done for a while, I think that is progress in itself. And to me, that was a, a, a big, it was a big pleasure to sit down and watch our batsmen just grind out a session and don't lose any wickets, um, still score 80 runs and, and little things like that. So I think there's a lot of progress being made during that series. Okay, um, I don't know if I can ask another question. Um, just about the, the camp again, what specifically have you been pleased with, with um, what has happened here, how the players have approached things? I think, I think the, 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 the pleasing thing here is the attitude because to, to, to just to drill and, and drill on things that you know you want to improve, it's not an easy thing to do and we've had them like now this is the third day straight so they get a day off tomorrow um, but the attitude throughout has been great. Thank you. No problem, Brad. Akim Green, and then the final set of questions will come from Brandon. Akim? Uh, on the tour to India, you would have had you know, the issue of not finishing the, the fifth overs in terms of from a batting perspective. Uh, and then you obviously had some great starts at the time, but people fell away in the 30s. How big a focal point has that been in the skills camp? Well, it's been it's been the the, the main reason for it. I, I think that we we are getting to the stage where between overs seven to fifteen in T twenties and overs eleven to thirty five in ODIs, where we we are being stalled, and that's why we're losing so many wickets. Um, so we're trying to make sure that we're not stalled anymore, and our our scoring ball percentage goes up from you know, 60% or wherever it is to, to the 70%. So then we will be scoring in that period and we know how strong we can be at 40 to 50 overs, you know, or last four overs in a T20. So that's been the, 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 the scope of how we look at things and, and how we want to improve it. Brandon? I coach Opal as well there. Yes, everything's good right now. All right. Um, when you look like at, at a player like in Promo Bonner, he's equipped with great determination and, and grit and all these things. What sort of role would you see Bonner playing in West in his white ball setups in the future? Um, the thing is with, 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 with all the batsmen in the middle, whether it be Bonner, whether it be Pura, whether it be whoever is batting in the middle needs to be able to 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 continue to rotate the strike as well as to score boundaries here and there um, to make sure that when we get to the to the position of over 35 to 40 or 40 to 45 and over 15, 16, 17, 
that we can up the tempo because we have wickets in hand and because we've been scoring consistently in those periods with four bats with four fields men outside the circle in in, in in 50 over you've got to keep scoring it gets harder when five are outside so um he he does have the ability to, to do that he's he's he scored runs um fairly, but he needs to know exactly that that's his role when it comes to white ball cricket if at whatever point he gets in and finally from me um, your assessment of the uncapped fast bowler Niall Smith uh, Smith has he has ability he has pace um we someone mentioned earlier that he his challenges with the, with getting to the fitness mark is something that he has to work on ex, ex, exceptionally hard but he has the talent he has the ability as a fast bowler and you know we got to try and keep pushing him to do the right things to get to where he can get to all right coach thank you no I want to say thanks to Brandon and to all the media that took time to join today's engagement. We'll be having another press conference on Friday with one other squad member from the camp, just to go over the camp again. And thanks to Coach for taking time out in the middle of a camp day to be here for this press conference. Thanks. Coach. No problem. Thank you, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day, everybody.